What's good, YouTube and Twitch? We have probably our top knockout dragout brawl of our top eight. Cam, the man, Neil, Team Zodiac Zone, the killer of the year versus Europe's Lucas Radiger. Lucas is definitely one to bring the fire. Um, and Cam, no exception to this rule, also very, very prolific. So I did not see who won the dice roll or who was who. I think this is Cam, but set four doesn't seem like Cam. Cam usually plays a uh, pendulum. So I would have to guess this maybe Cam. I don't know. Set four. Jeez. Terror top. Coming on down. Auto top. Yeah, definitely, uh, Alex. I uh, did a profile a while back. See, this is one of the big advantages of Yugi tubing. I know a lot of things in advance, even though I don't cover OCG. And uh, I covered a deck that uh, long ago, if you go search through my profiles, the deck profiles of a Cosmo that used train cards to top a regional in Europe. So, blue layer in Terra Top, Wind and Water. What have we got going on here? Tenacity, we have Monarchs. So, I believe this would be Lucas. But into four back row, and he's just going. Pantheism on top of it all. And we're attacking for 24 hundo. This big old beefy hand. Six cards, two threes. He can make a grand pulse afterwards after doing the damage. Three pluses. Hasn't even used his pantheism. Seems really good going swarm right now. Free damage before the risk. That's pretty old school tactics. And there is Strike One. A, B, C, as easy as one, two, three, as simple as you and me. Oh, we got graveyard effects. Oh, the free grand pulls back. Nice, nice by blue layer. So we're seeing some cooler interactions than the last duels. And red layer hits the field. There's Wolverine. He's leaving a blue layer there because this will grab it back as a wall. So we got free tributes, free Karazas. Do we got a solemn? And there is warning. So a little bit stymed here. But red layer. Gonna get the free. Now if he's held brilliant fusion at this point, uh, as the proper play would have been, that'd be pretty good. But I don't know if he's even playing brilliant fusion. And there's twisters. Oh, for a Skarm. Okay, so if there is no Valor, Cam can actually blow this duel wide open. If he draws a BA, oh, man is he in there. So this is kind of the danger of playing against BA. So we have another BA Monarch match. We've not seen any PKs yet, though. During either game. Free mills, free mills.
Do you guys like this uh, new layout more? The green kind of foggy mist thing might need to be cleared up. I think uh, it might look cleaner with just the black, but it might also look kind of weird because my uh, DM background is with black. I like the green mist around the uh, the field, the misty effect, but I don't know what to call it. Uh, overspray? But uh, I don't know about around... Uh, the, around the chat, it's just fine, too. I think it's fine everywhere. I actually just don't like it at the very bottom here. Yeah, I call the haunted overall is probably better. But full schedule allows you to go forward as well. Just another option. But it's more limited is its problem. Also, you have to remember... Uh, Call the Haunted in Europe has an extra goodness to Dark Destroyer in that if you're getting twi you're called the Haunted Twin Twister and you bring out Dark Destroyer, it still pops. So uh, Call the Haunted over in Europe has extra good vibes towards Dark Destroyer and uh, Slip Rider and other Cosmo cards that get their effects then, because they can actually trigger as they're on the field for their on summon triggers. Monarchs are really powerful, Zero Virus, uh, Alex. Monarchs just have the natural matchup. So we got a Storm 4th. So see everything, everything that Cam managed to do with just that tour guide? That's crazy. He really fought back, but it may not matter. Depends on his back rows, really. I like that he's running traps with the, uh... The BAs. Now, I may let this go through. Depending. And yeah, he's activated this, so yes, he is. That's so crazy. A tour guide. Oh, man. Welcome to being stymed. Straight up shut down. And we see our first fan of the night card uh, really peek its head out unless there was something milled and I missed it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Cam's going in. So no matter what, two of these are getting erased at worst. Arthur, what are you doing here? Top 32 leaderboard is out for ARG. Nice. Oscar Zalea.
we got Beatrice and a free skarm. I think Luke's pretty done for here. I don't think uh, two cards out of Monarchs can do what two cards out of the Burning Abyss can do. Well, he does have a Tribute Summon Monster. So there's that. Hey, thanks, Bad Cat. I do not know who Bad Cat is, but thank you very much. I will have to check you out. Also plays Yu-Gi-Oh! online. No info on the Twitch bar. So I can't really tell. But thank you very much. Man, does that mean Dark Lord has modus? His stream has just gone too since he was a DN admin. He was awesome. Yeah, it's kind of rock, paper, scissors, like, BA can fight Monarch really well. You saw what it did with just two cards against Monarch. And then, like, if they get Domain off, they're in a really good position. But as you see, this is extra Monarch. And if they get their extra cards, like Pallades, Pallades can just choke out uh, BA really well, too, depending... I don't think it's game yet, but this is quite a pickle. Or oh, it is a game. Yep, that's the back row, and there's the seer for the Tay. Now, I think you don't risk it. I think you go ahead and Beatrice. Oh, never mind. There's the Farfa. So there's game one, and we always like to thank Team Jobber and Trollentoad.com for making these tournaments completely possible. Without them, we would not be able to do these. And uh, their continued support, despite DM being down, is greatly, greatly appreciated. So thank you very much. Yeah, I think Pendulum kind of beats BA pretty bad. Pendulum, like, has no bad matchup. Uh, a lot of my friends say they dislike the Cosmo matchup. This is Dev Pro. A lot of my friends say they dislike the uh, Cosmo matchup, but when I play Pendulums, I tend not to have a problem. But I do agree also that Cosmo can just nut and it be a huge problem. But the thing is, you're always playing back. Strike always does something to pilots. Like, it always seems to go really well. Or at least you can play. So here we go. Game two.
Mentor reveal, no max C. Oh, there is. I spoke way too soon. Holy crap. And the nice actual method token. Oh, the fiend. We be fiending out here. I don't think there's going to be another tribute, though. Oh. This may be very, very, very rough for Cam. Uh, Fog Blades on out. So there are actually three trap outs here at least. That was an out too. I'm surprised it got pitched. Now this token is actually problematic for burning abyss players. We got an anti-spell. Now, even if Cam gets going, it's going to be hard to summon a lot of monsters. Tour guide will start it off. What could these... Are these back rows just spells? And there's the fog blade already. Vanity's turned off. Here comes Turgird. Her bus brings forth. Oh! The Maxi. Is there a strike? Is there a strike? Tell me there's a strike. Oh, please let there be a strike. Aww. I love seeing Maxi get striked. It's one of the coolest plays. Now, do you have to continue here? You, you could be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Of course you do. And he does not pitch the graph. Baba, that's one of the good mills here. <laughs> Chain Twin Twister would have been sick. Sorry for my biased commentary here. I just actually really love seeing Maxi get solemn striked. Talking some Pokemon Go to Scott. So now, uh... <laughs> Teratop's gonna be able to search. And now he can special under his own Vanity's Fiend. And he can also tribute it right away, too. But Cam's got so much back row and a Beatrice loaded. So we got Grand Pulse. What will he break here? Oh, Beatrice is going to make sure it's not hitting anything.
talking PokeGo strategy here. I really like Pokemon Go. A set field spell. Ouch. This, uh... Anti-spell definitely giving problems. Now, this 2800 defense is actually a huge problem as well. A typhoon. Typhoon. So he probably had this sighted for pendulums, but it came in really handy here with all the floods and other things. So there's your chain twin twister, kind of, Willie. But there was another flog blade ready, and we are drawing. Drawn to the bounce. So what's he going to make here that gets over Grand Pulse or deals with it? Is he just going to cycle Fafas? Some Falafa beans. Mike Albanese, nice, 31st. Sean Munn, Tommy Rowe, Max Reynolds, Chris LeBlanc, Desmond, Frazier James, James Frazier, Cody Cash. Daniel Cunningham. So we've got two teams out there. Three. Brandon Beckman made it. BB. Elvis Vu, Oscar Renderos, Chase Cunningham, Lenny Silverman, Danny Ty. Danny, he won uh, Dallas. Bodum, Matt Huvel, Ian Salinas, Oscar Zalea, Ryan Levine, Jeremy Brunwasser, Jake D. Fuddy, Jeff Jones, Calvin, Tom Blair Hunter, and Patrick Hoven. Nice, nice list. Hello, brother. Patrick Hoban would pull a scar, I bet. So the Fiend turned back on so that it, there can be no Ither, actually. But turned back off right here. Huge damage from Giant Enemy Burning Abyss. So, at 5900, right now it's looking like he'll live two turns. But lost boots in hand. Gonna speed it up a little, maybe. <sighs> Depending on the draw or graveyard. to see this kind of thing happen and that Dante is probably going to clinch it along with the seer 
I don't think there will be another turn. He did warning the Aether. Oh. And this seems pretty clenched. There's Sir gonna get back Dante. Boot special summon game. Can boot special summon. There is a uh, Phantom Knight on the field, right? Oh, normal summon. Well, no, he normaled Seer. Boot special. Boots. Can you do it? Uh, no, I'm actually very old on Twitch. Uh, about two years, I used to be household champions, and now we're Zodiac Duels TV. Uh, we come from a large Facebook group. We have a long time running Twitch uh, tournament series that's been having trouble since Dueling Network went down. But thanks for joining us for our first time. We've had as many as 200 people watching at once. This is a brand new layout, though. The old layout's very similar. Do I have my old layout on hand? Yeah. Here's the old layout. Old, old one. That didn't have Team Jobber on it. Oops. Team Jobber. Without them, these tournaments aren't possible. For real, for real, though. We need them. Hey, thanks for that follow, too. And with this new layout, I need to position this. I like it to cover the field. I like that people get mad that I give shoutouts to my followers on my YouTube. Uh, my YouTube's pretty good for that. Slash House of Champions. I have tons of tournament gameplay and live gameplay. So boots and defense. Boots and defense as well. Graham Pulse, try to win. There are a few very good places where you can see gameplay. Uh, the Card Guys, my channel, and Glasgow Yu-Gi-Oh! would be the best three in my opinion. High Voltage, what up? And there we have it, Cam, the man, Neil, moving on. As uh, we edit the participants and kill Lucas Redinger. So there we have it. The one, the only Zodiac Duelist, Cam, the man, Neil.